Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and in this video, I want to discuss whether or not Neo is a good buy right now or if it has a lot more downside. And we're going to go over the technicals to break down everything on Neo. And so we're looking at Neo right here on the daily time frame. And I have a couple trend lines just set up just as markers for myself. But the first and immediate thing that I see on this chart is the 50 day crossover to the downside on our 100 SMA. So this right here is extremely bearish. And so if this green line, which is represented by our 50 SMA, continues this trajectory, we will eventually cross over our 200 day SMA. And at that point, that is considered the death cross. And so after that point, there is significant downside on stocks. And so we're not even at that point yet. We see Neo continuing to drop. And so at these levels, what are my thoughts and opinions on Neo? The first question I would ask is what is the macroeconomic health of the world right now? And I would say that there is a lot of speculation in the markets. There's a lot of overvalued markets. There's a lot of backlog. A lot of people are still unemployed. A lot of people don't have jobs. So the market's up, but the economy looks pretty weak to me. And so something as luxurious as an electric vehicle like Neo doesn't seem like a top priority in the short term, as well as if you add on the fact that a lot of Chinese companies are getting delisted or there's fears of delisting of companies. And then you have the tensions between the states and China. You have a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes that really does not favor Neo. Tesla continues to expand into China, which is going to give them a bigger footprint. And the only way for Neo to combat something like that would be to either get subsidies from the government that will pay citizens to buy a Neo vehicle instead of a Tesla one or company specific Neo would have to drop the prices of their vehicles, but that would hurt their profit margins already more than they are right now. This is a very solid company, but there's always a good and a bad time to buy a company. You can always buy a really great company and lose money on it because you bought it at the wrong time. And so I would personally say that right now to buy Neo would be buying something at the wrong time. And I want to go over in detail more why I believe that. If we look at our MACD, you can see our MACD is negative. We did have a crossover of our signal line, but because we are negative, no setup yet to buy Neo. If we look at our RSI, our RSI is at a 39. We do have more room to the downside. I personally believe the best case scenario for Neo would actually be to go down very quickly. The reason why I say that is because if you continue to trade sideways at these levels, or right now within this price channel right here, you can see this is a descending price channel that we got rejected by right here. We tried to make our way, we couldn't. This was a level of support that we were watching. We did potentially have a head and shoulder setup. This being the head, this being the shoulder, this being the neckline, but we couldn't really break past this level of resistance. And so this price channel is more of an indicative price channel for Neo and should give you a better sense of direction of where it wants to go. And so because this is descending, because we got rejected a couple times here, we do expect more downside. All the technical indications are letting us know that we are going to see a lot more downside. And so the trajectory of this 50 SMA does not look good at all. If we start to see price action, just kind of keep going down like this, this will eventually cross over and then there will become a point where we just see the price fall off a cliff. And we have not reached that point right now. We have just been descending. However, these are still opportunities where the price is extremely high. And I think by the end of the year, we might see Neo a lot lower than what we're looking at right now. And so we are near our 200 day SMA. But the one fearful thing I have is this crossover right here and this trajectory that we have definitely seen the top here on Neo in the short term. Another thing I want to say is those individuals who have bought Neo in this level, I am not saying to sell this stock. I am saying be very selective when you average down because if you bought at 40 45 50 and you think 37 is a good price to average down I would say be patient with this one because you're going to get better opportunities to average down your position. A fault that I have made in the past is averaging down too early and then not having the dry powder when we really see those juicy prices. And overall, if you believe in this stock, if you believe in the thesis of electric vehicles, the electric vehicle market in China and just the brand itself of Neo. 
there's no reason you should be selling this stock. You should actually be very excited that the stock is going to go down and you can get NEO at even cheaper levels, bring down your average cost, build out a larger position, and then hold for the long term. And so I think that is exactly what we're going to see. I feel like this channel is going to trade sideways and kind of let our 50 day just slowly creep down a little bit. And then at one point here, we will get some sort of news that may accelerate this movement to the downside. And so what we're looking at NEO right now is a good company at a bad time. And so this is a company that is overvalued. It's an extremely bullish run all through 2020. You could see we're well above our 50 SMA for a very long time. Then we finally crossed down and we did in epic fashion. And so do expect NEO to trade in these channels. Those who are in NEO from up here, if you want to sell out, that is up to you. I would recommend holding the position and using the money to average down on this position because in the long term, NEO has the potential to be a hundred dollar stock, but in the short term, we're going to go a lot lower before we go higher. And so that is just the name of the game with the stock market. It really does manipulate the mind. And so I wanted to make a quick little update here on NEO because I know a lot of you may be watching this stock. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. We are on the road to 10K subs. So if you made it to this point, feel free to hit that subscription button. This is Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and I'll see you guys in the next one.